version 1.5, aka CW 1.5, of Clarion for Windows was released in September 1995, with version 1.502 following in January 1996. The ability to create native Win32 binaries for Windows 95 and Windows NT4 was included in this version. The same source code might be used for Windows 16 or Windows 32, although the IDE remained 16-bit, 32-bit compilers, linkers, and debugger were added. Clarion for Windows version 2, also known as CW20, was published in June 1996 followed by Clarion for Windows 2.003 in March 1997. Inheritance, encapsulation, virtual methods, and overloading were all added to CW20, making the language more object-oriented. 32-bit support was improved, ActiveX support was added, and SQL support was improved in CW20. Clarion 4, also known as C4, was released in December 1997 with version 4.002 following in May 1998. Top Speed chose to bypass version 3, the official explanation was that CW 1.5 should have been CW 2.0, thus CW 2.0 should have been CW 3.0. So let's just name the next one version 4. The 4 Windows title was eliminated due to the demise of DOS development. Application Builder Classes is a new template set and class library that arrived with C4, ABC. The initial template set produced procedural code that was becoming progressively complicated. The ABC template set used the class library, which held the majority of the functionality for Windows, browses, forms, and so on. Constructors and destructors were added to C4 to improve OOP, without parameters. Clarion 5, also known as C5 was introduced in May 1998, followed by Clarion 5.0b in June 1999. Professional and enterprise editions of the software were created. Clarion 5.5, also known as C55, was launched in August 2000, followed by Clarion 5.507 in January 2002. Interfaces was added by C55 to OOP. Clarion 6.0, also known as C6, was introduced in November 2003, and it included direct preemptive multithreading capability. In May of 2004, Clarion 6.1 was released, and in May of 2005, Clarion 6.2 was released. Clarion 6.3, as of January 2006, this is the final version of the 16-bit Clarion development environment, excluding patches, using a 16-bit IDE with modern Windows technologies, ActiveX. OCX, COM, DOC, etc., caused some issues. Nevertheless, Clarion Series 6.x produces native Win32 executables, 32-bit Xs and or DLLs. Previous versions created both 16-bit and 32-bit executables. However, with Clarion 6.0, 16-bit support was removed from the end-user product. Clarion 7 was launched on April 13. 2009 by Soft Velocity, aka C7. Sharp Develop users will recognize the new IDE because Soft Velocity purchased a commercial license for the Sharp Develop code and integrated Clarion's code generation and application generation technology, as well as fixing and expanding the fundamental functions. A build system based on MS build and backward compatibility with all Clarion releases back to Clarion for Windows 1.5 are two major new features other than the normal current IDE features lacking in C6. Clarion hashtag, a beta.net framework version of the language, is available. Clarion is still a Win32 development environment. Although Clarion hashtag and C7 share the same IDE, they are now sold as independent products. Clarion hashtag does not yet feature a dictionary editor or an application generator, unlike Clarion 7 and later releases. Both Win32 and .NET development were anticipated to be supported by a single Clarion 7 Plus or Clarion.NET IDE. Clarion.NET's future is uncertain, given that it has been at least 14 years since it was announced, without a gold release. The option to build .NET apps with VB.NET and C Sharp remains in the new IDE, in Clarion hashtag mode. Clarion 8 was released on September 12, 2011 by Soft Velocity. It continues the Clarion 7 series, the latest release was C7.3.
C9.1 Gold was published in August of 2014. Clarion 10 was launched in November of 2015. And Clarion 11 was released in October of 2018. For more information on our Clarion programming services visit sterlingdata.com.